Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Star Guy, and welcome back to another tech tutorial. Today, I'm going to be showing all of y'all how to use this amazing soundboard. I love it so much. I use it all the time. Basically, it's like a normal soundboard, except all of the audio goes through your microphone. So, let's say I want to play uh, this song here. I just press a button on my keyboard and. And the great thing about this is everything is controlled with your keyboard. So, let's say you're in a game and you have like a song. And just play it directly on your keyboard. Kill the hostage! It's great. I love it so much. So without further ado, let's just jump into how we do it. So, run up up a virtual machine. Um, get out of here. Okay, we load this space. Do with that later. Uh, but anyways, the first step is to uh, download the um, soundboard itself. Um, you go to the website in the description, uh, download the newest version, and let's just run the install file here. Boop, boop, boop. All right, next, finish. All right, um, I'm gonna update it. Uh, hit next, install, next, finish. So once you install it, you should uh, get this window. Um, if not, you can just open it here. Um, it should be under DSCP. DCSB. Uh, double check it shows up in your um, start menu. Sometimes it doesn't. In that case, just uh, just make a shortcut for it and it should work. Uh, but anyways, you should see this. It comes with a counter as well. Uh, we don't really want that, so I'm just gonna go to settings, other, and just do only sounds. So boom. Uh, now we got this. Um, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a sound. So I'll just go to add sound. I'm gonna make mine sans um, file. Click these three dots, navigate to your file. I'm gonna open up that. Now, here's the cool part. Um, I can actually map a key to play this file. So I'm gonna press these three buttons. And normally I just use my number pad because I never use my number pad anyways. So I'm just gonna bind this to number pad seven. And the good thing about this is this isn't always on, so you can still use number pad seven. You just have to exit out of the application. But um, once we have that enabled, uh, you can change the volume, turn it on and off. I'm just gonna leave it like that. So now, when I press number pad seven, now, notice I have to go uh, here and manually pause it. Uh, I like to set a keybind for that, so I'm just gonna go into my settings, keyboard, uh, set pause. I normally just set that to number pad zero because that's the largest button on my number pad. Well, actually, not the largest, but like. I like it. I don't know. You can set it to whatever key you want. Um, but yeah, uh, the next thing we're gonna do is install VB Virtual Audio Cable. So basically, what this is gonna do is it's gonna take an input from this and output it to your microphone. So let's hit download. Um, once this downloads, let's just open up the folder, extract files. Okay. Cool. Um, so you're gonna right click the x64, right click it and hit run as administrator. Yes. Install driver. Okay. Um, I would recommend rebooting your system, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm not going to at the moment. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up audio devices. You should see a cable input and a cable output. Um, right click it and make sure um, it is set as your default device. Um, most of the time, your microphone will be set as your default device and you just have to right click it um, and just set as your defaults. Uh, once we're done with that, um, we're going to open up um, Soundboard again. Um, go to Settings, Sound, and then we're going to add a second output, uh, VB Virtual Audio Cable. Hit Exit. Uh, next thing we're gonna do, so um, we're gonna do microphone, right click your microphone, uh, hit properties, listen, listen to this device, and then play back through cable input. Oh, I forgot to apply that. Listen, play back through cable input. Um, okay. Um, so now my microphone should be outputting to the cable output, as you can see here. So now, um, that's basically it. 
Um, so I'm just gonna go to a mic test site just to prove it's all working. So you need to make sure it's set as uh, your cable output VB virtual audio cable. Um, setting it to default should change that automatically for most of your applications, but if it doesn't work, just make sure you have the correct output selected. So now I can talk, and when I press number pad 7, that's basically it. Um, but yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Uh, sorry I haven't been able to post uh, that many videos in a while. Midterms have been pretty bad. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.